everyone. So this assay is going to be our, um, we're going to be measuring optical density and making a growth curve in order to determine the temperature preference of our microorganism. So we're going to start off with five tubes of nutrient broth that we've been using um, a number of times. We're going to label them. So I have one that's labeled blank and I have one that's labeled 20 degrees, 37 degrees, 45 degrees, and 55 degrees. At this point, all of these are sterile. If you remember last week, you made a culture of your bacterial unknown, a liquid culture. We incubated that for two days at 37 degrees and then put it at four degrees. So now, since it's been sitting for a while, some of the bacterial cells have collected at the bottom. We're gonna use a vortexer to gently put some of the cells into suspension. We're then gonna use a pipette men, our P200 pipette men, that can pick up up to 200 microliters. And we're gonna use that to inoculate all the three, the four tubes that are red. We're gonna leave the blank uninoculated. This allows us to give the an equal number of cells to each of these tubes. Now, in order to um, allow the cells to get into suspension, we'll do a quick vortex of each of the inoculated tubes. And we're gonna head over to the spectrophotometer to get a baseline reading of the absorbance of all of these specimens. So now we're at the spectrophotometer. The only thing I've done is turned it on with the back toggle switch here. So this is my home screen. We're gonna be um, doing a reading at 600 nanometers. So we're gonna go down using the down switch to OD600. Gonna hit enter and it's gonna send us to the screen. So the first thing we need to do is we need to tell the machine what a zero absorbance is. This machine is going to be sending light through this area, through our specimen. You're gonna to wanna to use not the square um, sample, but the round one up here to a detector that can sense how much of the light it initially sent through the um, sample, how much of that light made it all the way through. So a clear substance should have a pretty low absorbance reading, but we want to tell it what zero is. So after we get to this um, mode, we're going to hit enter, and it's going to tell us to place the cuvette. In this case, we're using a um, spectrophotometer tube um, to place it in there and then to press the zero button. So we're zeroing it, which will give us an absorbance of zero. So again, we're using the blank or uninoculated sample to get to zero out our readings. Now we're gonna put each of the samples in here, starting with the 20 degree. I always start with the lowest degree, the lowest temperature. Again, I'm going to the area where you can put a round tube and it reads live. I don't have to hit enter or um, you know return, but instead it's a live reading. So now these should all be relatively close to each other. There'll be some variability a little bit more variability than I would think. <laughs> we'll get a baseline reading for all of these. You're gonna record these numbers. If I see one outlier like that first one, I might go back and re-inoculate my sample. A couple outliers. That's okay. Um, it is what it is. We're gonna then take the samples. The 20 degree one is gonna sit out here with the blank. Our 37 degree one, we're gonna take over to an incubator. Make sure it reads 37 degrees. And we're gonna just put it in here to, well, there'll be a rack in there. <laughs> we're gonna put it in there in order to incubate. And so you are going to, and then we have 45 degrees and 55 degrees. Um, water baths that are here. So you're gonna allow them to incubate and then you are gonna come and get an absorbance. You're gonna do that five times. So you 
you might do that after 20 minutes, you might do it after 40 minutes, you might do it after 60 minutes, and then you might come back three hours later. Um, you want to do it within 24 hours. And you're going to watch the absorbance change over time. So what may have seemed like a big difference um, with the initial absorbance over time as your bacteria begins to grow, you'll see is actually a, a small difference. 